Good afternoon, YouTube. I am back with a, another random video, but um, I just felt like doing a unboxing review. I just got a rather large package in the mail, and I'm so friggin' excited. Um, it is a fairly new company-ish, I guess you could call them that, so I wanted to do a review of their services. Um, if you are not aware, I am a major Disney fan. I love Disney World as does everybody, <laughs> but I love getting um, items at a discount. I am a clearance master. Unfortunately, I do not live in Orlando, Florida, like some lucky few out there, and I cannot go to the discounted clearance Disney stores ever. <laughs> um, we don't even have a Disney store where I live, which is most unfortunate but as you, most of you may know uh, there are certain discounted clearance stores in Orlando uh, they're called the character warehouse for Disney where the parks official themed merchandise goes to the store to get clearanced out to make space for new awesome stuff in the parks there are different shopper services that you can look up on Facebook uh, there are well a ton of them nowadays it's kind of getting a little crazy but for those of us who are long distance I don't mind. Um, there is one service that I have always heard of, wdwstore.com net, or your wdwstore.com maybe? I'm not sure. I watch um, these pin traders on YouTube, uh, sisters Elizabeth and uh, Amy, that's their name, um, and they're, they've been friends with them apparently for forever, but uh, the Your WDW Store people, their kids just started a shopping service for uh, the clearance outlets. So they do shopping for average Joe people around the country, <laughs> and um, they do the shopping at the cost of the clearance items in the stores for a short, small shopping fee that they charge you. Um, Overall, you still get a crazy deal, even with the shopping fee, which I'll try to like throw in as I go. Um, it's still ridiculous savings, which like I'm happy to pay for the savings because I can get all my shopping done in one trip and pay short fee, pay a little bit of shipping, and I'm good. So, so much rambling, but kind of gives a little explanation for what exactly I'm doing today. Um, so, I just got my package finally. Oh, I'm so happy. So, um, I placed my order on. August 18, 19, 20. The, it was the 822 order, so the August 22nd cutoff date for that week of ordering. I don't know what day I placed it on before the 22nd, but um, mine was the August 22nd group, as they call it. So they do week batches at a time. Um, they get your order by email. You watch the videos on YouTube, see what all is in the outlets. They get your order by email and um, about a week later you'll get a wish list. They um, sent, they put on the website under your email what all you requested and you can double check to make sure it's all accurate. Make sure it's all yours. <laughs> this part that I would re be reviewing is there was a little chunk in the middle of my list that was somebody else's. Uh, I had a whole bunch of ears and then it was a like five or six Haunted Mansion items that I didn't request. And then a whole bunch of spirit jerseys that I did request. So it's kind of in the middle. But I requested the ears and the jerseys on two separate emails. And then one squeezed in in the middle. Uh, so they send you your wish list in advance so you can review it, check it, audit it. I emailed back saying, not my Haunted Mansion. Get rid of XYZ PDQ. So got a confirmation email. Check the website. It's good. Wish list is final. So this was about a week after I placed my order. Um, about a week later, no, two weeks later, um, I finally got the email, because they're behind, uh, that says that your order is ready to be paid for. I'm so happy. So, when you get that email, you go back to the website and they separate your wish list from the items that they were able to get. So, of, what, 12, 13 items, a whole bunch of ears and a whole bunch of spirit jerseys. I pretty much requested everything that had been available up until that point and if you got it great if not eh. so um all the gears were available i had four spirit jerseys i got two um i also requested an item off of the parents website your wdw store and um i got that as well the uh popcorn bucket the halloween pumpkin balloon popcorn bucket it said i got it so we're about to find out in the book in the box just how much I got, make sure it's accurate. I don't know. Um, I did, if you've seen my video before, I did another review of this maybe a month or two ago, and one of the items I got was wrong. So I had to follow up on that email, 
or follow up on that situation. Um, the shirt that I got that was wrong, the Mickey Mouse yellow polka dot sleeve one. I emailed them, they said, send it back. Um, we'll send you the correct one. Um, I did, so I mailed it back the next day, sent them a picture of my receipt showing how much I paid in postage, and they refunded me the postage amount straight to my PayPal account. They gave me the option to either have it as a credit towards my next order, or just credit it towards PayPal. I did PayPal since I didn't know when my next order would be. So, they mailed the correct shirt. I got it like a week later. All was good, everyone is happy. Got the right shirt, got my order rectified, and got my shipping cost returned from the correction. So, that's the update there. Now, finally, 15 minutes later, let's do the review of this order. So again, this is the August 22nd order. I received my confirmation email on September 22nd, I believe. So it was exactly a month later that I got my confirmation and was able to pay for my order. Again, that's not often, I guess you could say, because they are backed up. They went on a cruise, they're backed up. They're telling the whole wide world, we're backed up, we're sorry, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying. So, I'm getting stuff at a deal. I don't care. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not in a crunch. It's not the end of the world. I'm not going to Disney World next week and just dying to get those shirts in. I'm good. Take your time. I'm getting this stuff at a massive discount at their expense. We're straight. So, um, I'm fine with the shipping speed. Some people aren't. So, heads up if you are doing this service, plan about a three week difference, three to four week difference between placing your order for your wish list and actually paying for your order. If they get caught up, great. I think my very first order I did with them, I paid like a week later. So, and then I think my second order I did with them, I paid like two weeks later. This one just happens to be, they're backed up, they're getting big. More power to them. Uh, so this is the longest I've waited to pay and get my order, but eh, it happens, you know. Um, okay, so here's my box. I'm going to try not to show my address. Uh, this was shipped on 925, so exactly a um, month after I sent my wish list. So, let's see what we got. It's a pretty good sized box. They packed it in a nice little box. Here is the start of it. If you see the hot yellow color, that would be Spirit Jersey number one. They always include a packing list. I think this is what they go by when they print the order. And, um, anything sensitive on here no cool okay so here is kind of like their little packing list it says review your stuff this is the item they count it off check it off 12 item count and item total 127.21 so 128 dollars in cost on their end and it also breaks down how much they paid for each item so i'll be able to kind of go through and um show you guys what I paid and what I should have paid and how much I saved just by using their services. So, um, everything's kind of packed just in the box. No bubble wrapping, no padding, but like, don't really need it. It's ears and shirts. So, there's no reason to waste money on bubbles and popcorn and all the nonsense. I had a box, my last review was full of bubbles, the little popcorn thingies. So, if they're needed, they use them. Um, first item is off my wish list, the dapper yellow spirit jersey. Yay! This is actually one that I really wanted on my wish list. This is the second one that I wanted, <laughs> like top or whatever. Um, it was a size large. It was originally, how much were you? $64.99. I paid $24.99. So, about 60% off. Not bad, not freaking bad. For one of the higher demand colors, I'm happy. Sandwiched between my two spirits is my popcorn bucket. Oh, I'm so excited. This is not in the discount stores. This is current in the parks. Um, I emailed the people and said, um, what do you do if you want an item off the parent site and off the kid's site? Can we combine them so I don't pay two shoppers fees, two shipping fees, whatever? And they said, yeah, I don't think they like it done that way because it's a lot of like, but they were able to do it in my case. Um, that's super, super nice of them. I asked, you know. Um, so I got the popcorn bucket. This is current in the parks. I think these are currently going for 20 or 24, something like that. Um, I think I paid, what did I pay? $33. So that was with their shipping, their shipping, their uh, shopping fee. Yeah. They're shopping for like 20% markup or whatever um, off the parent site. So I paid 33. Um, so it's not twice what it is in the parks, but like 
darn close to it, but that's okay because I got it all shipped together. So even if I paid the shopper fee from the parent site, I got the shipping combined. So either way, I still am up. Um, the other thing that I had requested that I didn't get on my wish list was the candy corn popcorn jersey. Spirit jersey. <laughs> um, so off the parent side, I requested the popcorn bucket and the candy corn, the black with the candy corn spell out um, spirit jersey. I did not get the spirit jersey, which I was kind of surprised. It seems like they still have those pretty available in the parks. But I got my popcorn bucket. I can get the spirit jersey off of eBay for similar to cost. These are like 40 bucks on eBay. So I saved from not having to do eBay to get my bucket and the ones on the shirts on eBay are close enough to cost that I'm okay with it. That I didn't get it, I guess you could say. Okay, I got the, I'm a fan of the spirit jerseys, can you tell? Um, I got the Americana spirit jersey. I'm so excited. Of course, it'll be way too hot to wear this at like 4th of July, but I totally don't care. <laughs> it's friggin' fabulous. Got the little Mickey icon on the front. And then the red, white, and blue on the back. Super, super adorable. This was also originally $64.99. I only paid $9.99 for this. Yeah, that's like, what, 70, 80% off? Yep, happy as can be. So, $9.99 for my Americana. So it's two new spirit jerseys for me, hooray. And then the rest of this box is pretty much ears. <laughs> if you are keeping up with the outlets, if you're watching this video at all, you're probably keeping up. You're probably aware that the outlet has been full of ears lately. It has been amazing, amazing. I got in my request right before the newest batch of ears hit. The polka dot, the two sets of polka dotted ones, the Sally, the Toy Story, and something else hit after I sent in my wish list. And I didn't want to make a whole other order to get those, so I got these. <laughs> so these are the ears that I got. Um, I guess this is my order number in the box. Okay. Um, I got the, are these the Americana ears? I don't remember. <laughs> They're friggin' adorable ears, whatever they are. Um, these, I think almost all these ears were like $24.99 or $27.99 originally, give or take a couple of dollars. Uh, I got the, yeah, Dress Shop Americana ears. They were $7.99. I got the ear hat ears, like how stinking cute is this? I'm so excited. Um, I'm actually going to Disney World in January, so just in time. Uh, these were $4.99. So I got the Mickey Mouse Club hats. I got the, what do you call these, Sugar Rush? Are they Vanilla Bee ears? Sugar Rush? I don't know, but I love the little mint blue and the pink bow. Absolutely love them. These were Sugar Rush, yeah, that's what they're calling this color, $4.99. I got the, they're calling these the mirror ears, like the silver. I love this color. Uh, these were also $4.99. I got the daisy ones. At first I was worried that this was the one with, that had the yellow flower sticking out of the top of it. Thank goodness it's not because I was about to cut that yellow flower straight off of them. So I got the uh, daisy ones, mini blue daisies, what they're referring to them as. I got those for $7.99. I got the floral ones. I'm actually really excited. I don't have any other floral uh, ears. These were $4.99. I'm racked up on ears. This is freaking great. I'm gonna have to totally make new space on my ear wall. I got the ice cream. I love Mickey Mouse ice cream in the ears, the first part that I bite into. So these are like amazing. They're $4.99. I got the Imagination Pink, which I love the bow. I love the giant sequins on it. Imagination Pink was $4.99. And I got the, last but not least, Millennial Pink, which was also $4.99. So, of all the ear colors that they have been able to come into the last, what, two or three weeks, I got every single pair that I requested. Um, yeah, I got every pair that I requested. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pairs of Mickey ears. And if you are aware, Mickey ears are not cheap. They run about 20 bucks each, at least. I got them for upwards of $4.99 for almost all of them. A couple were $7.99, but eh, perfectly fine. 
from $20 to $5, 75% off. Like, I'm not gonna complain. Um, so I've got a crap load of ears, pardon my French. So we've got a ton of ears. All together, I've got nine pairs of ears, two spirit jerseys, and the brand new Still in the Parks popcorn bucket. So, <laughs> um, so of my wish list, I got everything except the um, three spirit jerseys. I requested the candy corn spirit jersey in a large, which I didn't get, but that was off the parent site, so I was already kind of pushing my luck anyways. Perfectly fine, that's what eBay's for. I requested the black and white spirit jersey I did not get. They only came in like two sizes, I think, in the stores at all. I requested a large, and that wasn't even a size that was an option when it came out, and they never got more sizes. And then I requested the Briar Rose spirit jersey, the gray one with like the pink or silver sequins or something. I also requested that one, and I believe those were only available in so many sizes also, and they're super, super limited. So, I was already expecting to not get them. I knew they had quite a few of these, and I'd seen in their like recap videos, like, I'm gonna go over all the large shirts, send your order in now. I saw some yellows, so I was hoping I'd get at least one, <laughs> but I got two, so I'm good. Um, total items, I got 12 items. $127.21 was my item total. If you can see that. $127.21 for 12 items. That averages about $10 an item. Yeah. $10 an item? Yeah. $10.70. So, to average about $10 an item, even to average $10 for ears, like, as a whole, I'm still doing good. To average $10 for the shirts, I'm happy. So I kind of quickly did the math before I started my video. The shirts were each $64.99 originally. The ears, I'm averaging for about $24.99 each. Some of them were $20, some of them were $24, some of them were $28 originally. So I averaged $25 originally. They were all at least a good $20 per ear. Um, at $24.99 per ear times nine, that comes up to uh, $225 just in ears. And plus the two shirts, plus the $20 popcorn bucket, I would have spent retail cost $375 plus tax plus shipping. So $375 compared to $127 and tax and shipping and whatnot. Yeah. So the um, cost that we have here is $127.21. That includes their cost. I paid a shopper fee of $27, $28. Either 27 or 28 it was one of the two and then I paid um, 27 or 28 dollars in shipping altogether my total was 158 dollars um, that right so altogether I spent under 200 dollars that's something at least I know um, I spent under 200 it was under like 175 altogether that would have cost 375 dollars plus tax plus shipping so you're looking at 375 dollars plus say 10 percent in tax there's 30 bucks so that puts you at $400 easy. And then another, say, $20 in shipping, like off the Disney site. So we're looking at over 400 some odd dollars. I paid 170 something. So altogether, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Very, very happy. <laughs> I don't look too thrilled, but I'm hot and I'm tired. If you can tell my face is like beet red, I'm burning up. Just came home and with my box and I got straight to recording. So again, I've rambled way too much. I am going to put on my handy dandy ears and start wrapping up this video um i hope you guys like this review i am very happy with your wdw outlets uh, they work hard they do what they can for us greedy cheap people i could name a few more words but yeah um we're cheap and yeah, they are wonderful, wonderful people for doing what they do. I uh, just wanted to put this review out there. I'm very happy with their service, very happy with their speed, uh, very happy with their packing, their shipping, their um, customer service. Every time I've emailed, they've been nothing but friendly and I got pretty much everything I wanted aside from two or three items, the two shirts I knew it wasn't gonna happen, but I had to ask in case extras came in and I didn't know it. And then the candy corn spirit jersey, which is limited availability right now anyways, because Halloween and but they did throw in my popcorn bucket and they didn't even have to do that because it's off of the other site so happy thumbs up two thumbs up <laughs> five stars um, yeah definitely check them out your WDW outlet .com, and yeah they get you taken care of all right guys I guess I'm 
finally done rambling. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this review. Like this video if you like this type of video, if you like reviews and unboxings and that kind of thing, or if you just like other generic general stuff content. <laughs> um, subscribe to my channel if you do and hope to see you guys next time. Bye.